And back here at home, venomous snake bites to kill more than 200 people a day around the world. And while the World Health Organization has classified the issue as a neglected tropical disease, deaths from snake bites is mutating to a hidden global problem. Oh, who has recent HO, rather WHO has recently admitted world uh, shortage of effective anti-venom. Alphys Lagat visited Mwingi in Kitui, where a conflict between people and the slithering reptiles is a record high, with devastating effects coming close after. At the Mwingi Level 4 Hospital, four-year-old Joel Musili is fighting for his life. He is the latest victim of a vicious neck bite. The doctors are closely monitoring the wound on his right shoulder. His parents, Musili Kimanzi and Lucia, rushed him for urgent medical attention after a cobra slithered into Joel's bed on a Saturday, biting him while he was fast asleep. On arrival at the hospital, doctors had to frantically resuscitate Joel, who had passed out. The doctors say that it is quick response that saved Joel. A vial of antivenom, however, cost between 4,500 and 6,000 shillings. And for the venom in Joel's body to be fully neutralized, the doctors needed six vials of antivenom, which would cost about 26,000 shillings. The amount of venom injected into the body, it doesn't discriminate on the, the age yeah. and the weight of the patient. You find that they use actually the same amount of antivenom mm -hmm. for the duration of treatment. Kitui County ranks second in the number of snake bites after Baringo County. Some of the deadliest snakes live in several villages in Kitui, leading to increased conflicts between locals and the snakes. A conservative figure from a in the county places deaths due to snake bite poisoning at five every single year. In the Mwingi area, we have particular common areas that uh, are sources of snake bites for a particular area. These areas we are, for instance, the Nguni area, uh, the Okasi area, the Moi area, Sosoma area, especially, especially those areas, uh, particularly areas that tend to refer a lot of patients to us following snake bite and venomation. While quick medical response helped neutralize venom, a victim who fails to access immediate response can suffer far-reaching effects. One of the most common is amputation. Catherine Mulyungi knows this all too well. Doctors at Embo Hospital were forced to amputate her arm after she suffered a snake bite. It is hard to see her struggles through the resilience and courage that she exudes. She tells that she must remain strong for her five-year-old son. With one arm she does her daily chores, while bemoaning absence of proper antivenom that would have saved her arm, she would let her struggle for years without getting proper compensation for her loss. She now lives as an amputee and life is not easy. Na huyo mtoto nilimulea nikiwa na mashida nyingi sana nilipitia mashida ya kungangana tu. Tulikuwa na madhi yangu alikuwa ananisaidia sana kwa sababu kando ya kulima tulikuwa tu analima kwa sababu suwezi nikalima. Huyo mtoto wangu alikuwa anamusaidia. Na tukakaa mama yangu wakapato na shida ya kanza, hakafariki. Mm. There are various types of snakes, ranging from black mamba, python, puff adder, uh, red spitting cobra, black necked cobra, and so on. And uh, the climate being that high, about 24 degrees Celsius, which is very conducive for snake bite, snake breeding, what what wanakuliwa sana nyoka, sana. 
The World Health Organization estimates 140,000 deaths worldwide due to deadly and venomous snakes. An additional 400,000 people suffer critical physical and mental disorders. In rural and marginalized parts of Kenya, especially in Mwingi, access to hospitals and quality antivenom is not guaranteed. I would say it's an neglected disease because those people in town, they, it's like they don't care what is happening down in the rural areas. So it is something and a problem that's affecting the rural folk. There are between 800 and 1,000 reported snake bite cases a year in Kitui County. Many cases, however, go undocumented as villages are far apart in the remote Kitui County. 24th December 2004. Hours to Christmas is a day Agnes Mutambi wish never happened. Her 10 year old only son at the time was out on the fields grazing goats. Her responsibility he held dear in his heart. <laughs> Disaster followed when a deadly venomous snake struck and beat Jafet Mumo. Young Jaffet died hours after being taken to Mwinge District Hospital. The poison had already damaged key organs and the doctors could not save the young boy. Fifteen years have since passed but for Agnes the pain and memory of losing a son at a tender age is still vivid. Jaffet is one among 60 casualties of snake bites within the area in just under two decades. Local authorities attribute the worrying figure to beliefs and myths that lead locals to disregard use of conventional medicine. Many wait until it is too late. It is assumed that when one is bitten by a snake, they would immediately know. However, it is possible for the strike to happen quickly and for the snake to disappear. Some of the general symptoms that show include two puncture wounds at bite site, swelling and redness around the bite area, difficulty breathing, vomiting and nausea, blood vision, numbness in the face and limbs, and tiredness and muscle weakness. When a poisonous snake bites, it is crucial to have a qualified medic administer antivenom. However, the World Health Organization in a recent announcement indicated that there is a global shortage of effective antivenom by more than half, while those available, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, are polyvalent antivenom, covering just 10 varieties of venomous snakes. I get a lot of cases of patients who are being bitten by snakes. They, they, they come and they tell me that they have tried everything they could. But the patient just succumbs. It pains me to see uh, many, many years of research which have been put in. Uh, nobody has thought of uh, investing a lot of money to make sure that we will not die of uh, snake bites. Whilst a global concerted effort is needed to combat this neglected tropical disease, local authorities recommend immediate measures to help keep snakes at bay. Families in snake-prone areas need to keep water away from homes and clear bushes around their homes to discourage venomous reptiles from venturing their homes and causing a tragic encounter. Alpha <laughs> Slagat, Citizen TV, Kitui County.